Good morning, adventurers. Good morning. We are at the 2018 Cow Gathering, and we cannot wait to take you guys around today. Island Games are held here in Scotland every spring and summer and in countries all over the world nowadays to kind of celebrate Scottish culture. The Cowell Gathering is one of the largest with 20,000 spectators. It happens in the final weekend of August every year. Yeah, and this particular uh, Highland game, the Cowell Gathering, started in 1894 and nowadays it has 3,500 competitors from all over the world. So today we are going to be seeing some Scottish dancing We'll see some pipe bands, strength competitions, and of course we'll be eating tons of Scottish food. It's an absolutely beautiful day out here. You can hear the sound of bagpipes <laughs> everywhere you go, which is awesome. But there's a lot to do and see here, and we haven't quite taken it all in yet. So first order business, we're just gonna take a lap around and see what there is to do. We hear that there are some animals, potentially. Yeah, that's what we're really looking dogs, for. So yeah, that's what we're looking for. This place is epic. They have carnival rides, a big bouncy thingy, rock wall over here. Oh, to be young again. Yeah, we're too big to ride any of the rides, unfortunately, <laughs> and we'll probably just break ourselves if we do. <laughs> we found this little cart that serves a bunch of whiskey and gin. The walls are just lined with it. So I got a gin and tonic. Uh, and I, I just had him pick out the gin. It's from the island of Tyree, I think is how he said it. Apparently the guys are in a band. They played, the guys who make it are in a band and they played here the other day. Which is awesome. I went with uh, what, whiskey. I got the from Loch Lomond, which yeah. is right up the road from here. It smells nice and smoky. She got it with a lime wedge and she was like, oh, should I not do that? And he said, I'll give you a pass because you're not Scottish. So sorry <laughs> if this is making any of you cringe. That's usually how we drink our whiskey. Do you want to taste it? Yeah. I don't usually drink gin or gin and tonic, so I can't really comment on how good it is. It's tasty. This is really good. I wonder if they Let me try that. bottles there. I should have stuck with the whiskey, but I'm trying to expand my horizons a little no. bit. Ooh, baby. Yep. I'm happy with my decision. Yeah, you made the right choice. <laughs> you guys, we just ran into some of our viewers. They just stopped us while we were walking. It was really cool. Their names were Iuna and Thomas. Yeah, Iona and Thomas. And they gave us some amazing recommendations because we have a couple more days in the area. Yeah. So now, hopefully, we'll be showing you guys some very cool local places. Yeah. Thank you, you guys. Yeah, and if you guys ever see us out and about, feel free to stop us if we're in the middle of filming or doing whatever we're doing because we love being able to talk to, to you guys face to face because usually we don't really get to do that. I'm just talking to this camera. Yeah, you know? but sorry in advance because we'll probably pick your brain and ask you to tell us cool stuff to do nearby. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> there you go. Let's see what they think. You watch the faces, I'll okay. get the beef trip done. Like, we just watched how the same prepa is prepared and now they're making us try it in front of everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. Thank you. <laughs> That's amazing. So we just watched this presentation on how to prepare salmon and then you get a little sample afterwards. So I so believe it's smoked salmon, right? Yeah, smoked salmon. It has some beetroot in there. It has an oat cake, which is our first time interacting with oat cakes. And then potatoes and onions and it's got like honey and salt in there. It's really it's got the fishiness from the salmon, but it's smoky. The oat cake gives it a crunch and then the beet gives it like a little bit of sweetness like every flavor and texture in the world yeah. all in one. I got one too. It's like a cup of deliciousness. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Oh, geez, that's good. Up next, right behind us, we are going to be watching the most ferocious athletes perform, the Drakes of Hazard. Thank you and goodbye! Well, I think 
we're all winners today after seeing those ducks. That was the cutest right. thing well, in the entire let's, world. Let's try it. They have a few different beers on tap. We got one called John Smith, which we'd never heard of. I'm not sure if it was Scottish, but all the other stuff definitely was not Scottish. So it's pretty good though. It's yeah. really cold and very tasty. Oh yeah. Yeah, now we gotta get some food. Mm. Mm -hmm. We're in line at this truck and we spotted a spicy haggis dog. We're trying to figure out exactly what that is because I didn't know you could get haggis in dog form. <laughs> But I think we're gonna give it a try. Yeah, oh yeah, they've got some very interesting sounding things here. I'm excited to try them. Oh, nice. Well, that's the haggis dog. Oh my god. There you go. Haggis and wow. a hot dog. So it's, it's haggis with a hot dog on top of it. That's insane. A haggis dog. So we just got our lunch. There isn't a lot of seating outside and I'm pretty sure that we're gonna get sunburned. So we came into the drink tent and we're just hiding away in the corner. <laughs> but we got stovies. I think it's kind of like I don't know, like a sausage mixed with potatoes. I think there's some onions in there and stuff. Then beetroot on the top, and of course, more oat cakes. I had no idea that oat cakes were like the yeah, side of a big choice thing. here. Yeah. So I went with the haggis dog. Now I wasn't really sure exactly what I was gonna get, but it is a hot dog with haggis beneath it on top of a bun with some sweet chili sauce, I think. Yeah, never heard of this, but yeah. I'm pretty excited to try it. We were going to try Cullen skink, which is also a Scottish dish, but they ran out of it, which is so sad. Yeah. I'm so excited to try it. There were like three people before us and they all ordered an order. And then we were like, yeah, we'll get it too. And then he's like, oh, well, too bad because we literally it's just gone. ran out. Everyone else gets it, but not you. All right, let's see what the stovey's all about. Yeah, it looks like it's mostly potatoes. <laughs> Mm. That is super hearty. It's like stew without any liquid. It's mostly just potatoes with some sausage in there, some minced up. I think it was this one's beef and pork, I think. It tastes a little sweet. I don't know if it's from something that's in it or from the beets getting in there. Might be the but, beets. Oh, it's so good. So haggis sounds a little rough if you haven't had it before. It's sheep's heart, liver, lungs, but we've had it before and I actually really like it. That's a lot of stuff. Yeah, and then, you know, you got your classic hot dog, which we all know and love. Man, I want to bite with all this chili sauce on it. That seems like a weird addition to me. I don't know. Whoa. Mm. It's pretty good. You've got like the gritty savoriness of the haggis below it. And then, of course, the hot dog taste. The hot dog taste kind of overtakes everything. Um, so you get don't get that much of the flavor of the haggis. And I'm not sure how well the chili sauce goes with it, but it's an interesting flavor combination. I'll give it that for sure. Overall, I'm not um, hating my decision. Right? It's definitely an interesting thing to try. So I'm gonna go ahead and say Allison won with the stovies here. Um, the dough is good. It's not that bad. We don't have any napkins, so I have the sauce all over me. <laughs> <laughs> I really like the sauce on there. It was really good. Haggis has never been my favorite thing. It's a, just a little internal organs. I didn't grow up eating them. Um, so, I don't know, it's a it's an acquired taste, I'd say, and I haven't acquired it quite yet. So, it's nice that the hot dog is really flavorful and is the chili sauce, so it makes it really nice. But it's sweet and savory, I like that. The Scottish dancing competition is uh, one of the big events here. They have competitors from all over the world nowadays, and it's happening in that big old tent over there. So I think we're gonna go check it out. You guys, that dancing was really cool. We've been to a Highland Games once in San Antonio. Yeah, in and, Texas, uh, in the yeah, US. It was the first time we actually saw traditional Scottish dancing like that. We were blown away by how tight everyone is and how like methodical their oh movements God. are. It's and really impressive. Leg muscles, oh my gosh. Yeah. Props to y'all, because that is intense work, yeah. geez. <laughs> it's also just really cool that all the kids are involved in such a traditional style of dance. 
you know. Yeah, it's so cool like, if they keep it alive like the that. The sabers and the, the outfits and everything, it's yeah. all just very awesome. To give you guys an idea of the setting for the Cowell Games, you can see we're kind of nestled between a bunch of uh, hills, mountains, forest land, right in the middle of the highlands. It's awesome. It's so beautiful. There's yeah. water off that way. Man. Yeah, and you get a view from up here. It's really nice. Yeah, and it couldn't be a more beautiful and perfect day. I think it was raining oh, the first two days, so I feel bad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, didn't you guys come here last year? No. <laughs> What's your YouTube channel? What's your YouTube channel? It's called Logan Paul. Dab on the haters! Logan Paul for life! Dab on the haters! Well, we were saying before we were mobbed by that group of kids over there. That it's a lovely day with a lot of lovely folks here. I couldn't, un couldn't even understand half of what they were saying, honestly. <laughs> They're just screaming Logan, Logan Paul? Logan, Logan Paul for life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was fun though, I guess. <laughs> So I'm not sure what this one is called, but it looks like they have a 56 pound weight and they have to throw it over these poles here. country I forget they're from all over so the games have pretty much concluded they uh, are kind of having all the bands march out into the center yeah I think they're gonna announce the winners they already did the dancers and the uh, the athletics so yeah. now I think it's just for the pipe bands it's pretty epic though they've been doing this for like 20 minutes already and the, the bands just never stop there's so many <laughs> They came right after us. <laughs> well, that was a blast. You guys. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. A lot of uh, very talented people yeah. at this game. Oh, My yeah. Gosh. Like some of the dancers and uh, all the other sports that they were doing are just crazy it's not stuff we get to see very often when we see it we're just like oh. but we got to eat some delicious food see some really cool performers get a little <laughs> dose of scottish culture got accosted by a group of logan paul fan <laughs> fanboys it was so funny they kept asking us what our channel was and they looked it up and they showed it to us on their phone and they were like look i'm subscribing yeah, <laughs> it was pretty which awesome is very sweet but <laughs> yeah. yeah maybe they'll stick around <laughs> yeah quit watching logan paul if you guys are watching yeah this, go explore right? the world and with stuff us. will melt your brain but anyways, enough ranting. I think we're going to head back home. We have kind of a long drive. Yeah. But Ugh. very scenic and beautiful drive. It's beautiful. Yeah. Luckily, it's a couple hours till dark, so we'll get twilight most of the way. That'll be nice. Yeah, and then we're going to have some more adventures coming at you up here in Scotland, and we are super psyched about it. We cannot yeah. wait, but tomorrow's going to be rainy, so we'll probably skip tomorrow. And then hopefully yeah. we'll bring more sunshine your way. Yeah, we want to show you guys some of the proper scenery and countryside and stuff, because what we've seen so far has been great. Yeah. All right. Well, good night, adventures. We'll see you on the road. <laughs>